Welcome to the CompuAire Workbench Expediter Eclipse CICS Debugging Module. Here you will learn about the requirements for a CICS debugging session. From the Debug Configurations panel, identify the configuration to be used, then click on the Debug button. If you would like to relaunch a session previously used, locate Run on the menu bar. You may choose Debug to launch the last session run, or choose Debug History to display a list of previous sessions. Once the session is launched, you are in the driver's seat, fully controlling the execution of the program. To recap, the various commands and user controls covered in the basic debugging module all are available when debugging CICS programs. In most cases, you will need two concurrent sessions, one for the workbench and one for the mainframe. A second monitor is convenient but not necessary. Note that this assumes that the CICS transaction will be invoked directly from CICS. Setup requirements may differ when debugging CICS programs initiated by another service such as the web. Choose the Expediter perspective for the workbench and sign on to the appropriate CICS region on the mainframe. The session launch will specify the specific program and region. Once the session is launched, the specified program will begin and halt at the first breakpoint. In the debug view, we see that the resume and step icons are disabled, signaling that the program is awaiting input to proceed. On the mainframe session, the appropriate transaction code is entered. Returning to the workbench session, the debug view allows control. Resume is selected, disabling the step icons as the mainframe screen is now awaiting input. Employee number 00001 is entered with the intent of causing an ABEND. Returning to the workbench session, the console confirms the ABEND and the variables view displays the apparent cause, the invalid value in one of the variables. Looking more closely, the variable in question is highlighted. A right-click displays the context menu and vertical hex display is chosen. The expected data type and actual value are revealed. Returning to the variables view, the same variable is once again highlighted. A right click displays the context menu and this time change value is selected. The set value dialog box appears and the value is overtyped with 40. The variables view now reflects the change value. Viewing the mainframe screen shows the display of the employee information, including the new value just entered for hours worked. This concludes this module. Thank you.